also, if this video seems like bullshit to you, look up, just, yeah, just look up manifestation stories, law of attraction stories, and just watch a few of them. This shit is real. <laughs> like, seriously, this shit is real. Like, day, okay, on a day-to-day -day basis, little things are constantly being manifested into my life. And Hello, my name is Haley, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm very excited to be filming this because I have wanted to for once now, and I'm just now getting around to it. So I'm just going to dive right in. This video is going to be about the law of attraction, as you can tell from the title. Okay, so first of all, I will just go over what the law of attraction even is for people who have never even heard of it. So basically, the law of attraction is a belief that the things you focus on manifest into your life. So this basically means that everything that is present in your life, the people, the situations, the things, everything in your life is due to you manifesting it either consciously or unconsciously through both the beliefs you have and also just simply the thoughts that you think. So basically, we are all constantly manifesting everything into our lives at every second, whether we are conscious of it or not. The beauty in all of this is that when you do become aware of the fact that you are doing this, you can use it to your advantage and therefore get the things you want into your life and simply say bye to everything you don't want in your life. This might seem complicated from the start, but I promise you it is actually very simple and there's literally only three steps to doing this and that is one to ask two to believe and three receive the beauty of the law of attraction is you can literally manifest into your life anything you want and that could be from simple things like simply like some food you want or like a new blanket just any like material thing you could think of you can manifest also you can manifest a specific person in your life or a specific career or insight motivation just anything you could think of physical or not you can manifest before i go any further into this video i would just like to say if you are thinking about practicing the law of attraction i just would like to remind you to be very specific about what you ask for because when you put out a request when you let the universe know what you want the universe doesn't see it from a place of emotion like they don't think about it at all like the universe simply just reflects back to you exactly what you ask for so therefore it's very important to be very specific and careful with how you word things and also to not send out any confusing messages because then it's very possible that you will end up receiving something that you didn't want or just the wrong thing so once again, it's very important to be very specific. So for whatever you're asking for, I would highly recommend writing everything down, like specifically, like I said, how you want it. And also write it in the present tense, write it as if you already had it. So instead of saying, I want this, say, I have this. So after you write what you would like to receive down, I would recommend going over it like once or twice a day and just read it over to yourself out loud even if you want to just again just put that out there every day and so also so you will be like aware of this because if you say it in the morning um the thought of it will probably stay with you throughout the day and also saying it before you go to sleep is also very beneficial okay so the first step seems fairly easy right the second step it is also easy but it can get a little confusing at first especially but i guarantee you it does get easier the more you practice it so the second step is to believe and that means you have to fully believe one that you'll receive what you ask for and second you have to also believe that you already have the thing that you asked for which I do understand this sounds very confusing at first you have to put yourself in the mindset like you have to think about specifically 
the thoughts you would have and just how you would think if you already had whatever it is that you asked for. And also you have to believe with all your heart that what you ask for will manifest into your life. So again, in the beginning, this might take a little while to get used to and to really be able to fully believe that this will happen, especially if you have no prior experience with manifesting and you've never heard about it before, it can be very tough at first to actually convince yourself that it's going to happen. But I assure you, after you manifest like one thing into your life, it will be so much easier to be able to fully believe in it. And also, I would like to say, first of all, I would recommend just trying to manifest something small just to test it out and see how it works for you and again i'm gonna repeat this a few times probably but you do have to fully believe in it for it to actually happen a way to let the law of attraction do its thing a little easier is to make space for whatever it is that you are trying to manifest into your life and i mean this both physically and mentally so mentally is basically in the way I said before, which is to get yourself into that mindset of already having the thing that you're asking for. You basically have to mentally make space for anything you could possibly want to manifest in your life. But also, if you are trying to manifest a physical object or even a person, you have to make space for them in your life. And so say you are trying to manifest simply a book into your life. What I mean by physically making space for it is simply just what it sounds like. Um, find a place on your bookshelf for this book. Like specifically look at this place and envision the book to actually be there. Another big part of the law of attraction is actually visualizing the things you want in your life. So you can do this in many different ways. So yeah, if you are trying to manifest a physical object, that is obviously going to be a lot easier because you can simply look at where it would be and just picture it to be there. But you can do that for anything. Just close your eyes and just picture it. <laughs> picture it in your possession. And again, just feel exactly what it would be like to have it in your possession in this moment. So I'd say the second step is probably the most important and the most difficult at times and the really the key to it is believing that you deserve to have this thing in your life so the third step after you master all of these beliefs is simply to be patient and to also be aware and be on the lookout for whatever it is that you're looking for but also don't be constantly looking for it in a way as you're thinking about how it's going to get to you. You are not in charge of figuring out how it's going to get to you. You simply, all you do is ask and believe and the universe is the entity that will figure out how it will get to you. You don't have to worry about any of that. All you have to do is find out what you want and believe wholeheartedly that it will come to you. And that's simply all you have to do. Um, I would also highly, highly, highly recommend just staying in gratitude through this whole process. Being thankful for all the things you already have so that the universe will understand that you do deserve everything you are trying to manifest. And that's really it for the law of attraction. I would highly, highly recommend watching many more videos on this topic just to gain a greater perspective on it and a deeper understanding. Also, if this video seems like bullshit to you, look up just, yeah, just look up manifestation stories, law of attraction stories, and just watch a few of them. This shit is real. <laughs> like, seriously, this shit is real. Like, day, okay, on a day to day basis, little things are constantly being manifested into my life. And if you make a list of a bunch of different things you would like to see in your life, and again, don't make all of these really big goals because those, I guarantee you, those will take longer to manifest. So I would say at first, if you, if you really are just starting out for it, do a combination of both, just small and big things, just all the things, just, just try 
different things and I guarantee you that you will see results very quickly depending on how much you do believe that it will come. Okay, I'm gonna quickly finish this out on my phone because my camera just ran out of space. So, I'd say about a week or two ago, I made an updated list of the things I would like to manifest in my life. I am not kidding you, right after I finished making this list. Okay, one of the things was I wanted to go hiking more. And literally, within like 30 minutes after writing this down, I get a text that says, Hey, let's go hiking soon. <laughs> I'm not making this shit up. I swear I'm not making this shit up. But like when that happened, I was just like, oh shit. Like, I don't know. Some people believe in coincidences, so they could just say, oh, it's a coincidence. But I, I don't believe anything's a coincidence. So I take that as a sign. So that's why I'm making this video because I have had personal experiences. So many fucking excuse my language so many experiences with the law with the law of attraction that is just the simplest one i can think of right now but seriously every day something happens <laughs> so yes please watch more videos on the subject if this is the first one you've seen and yeah so thank you so much for watching and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and leave me a comment down below if you have experience with with the law of attraction and have manifested something i would love to hear the things you manifested because it's pretty dope so yes i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you have a, a wonderful day so peace out